This is called Confessions of a Wind-Up Doll, True Burlesque. There is always beauty in the hissing sounds. The alternating camera speeds reveal a long-lashed woman. Touching experimental films, she has a forceful birth to destroy Hollywood. A local documentary, a psychodrama, and a spectacle of piano crashes. So dramatic in the cinema on Kings Highway in Brooklyn, three prostitutes wear clear vinyl dresses comparing themselves to each other. A purple keeper of her soul knows this, that every girl wants the music, that every girl wants the sounds, knees on the seat but no relief. She heard through the door a notorious incident occurred during dinner. A vomiting was responsible, the biggest blushes yet. A flesh paled after jumping a film actress. That girl whose five inch heels burned as she tongued her legs. Just rock and roll. True burlesque, the cracks on the face is spied. She entered the hotel room, whispered, whispered nothing words as the doors collapsed, hissing shut. Pale light, fractured rays, no light switch, just a pull chain that she couldn't reach. She touched each of the black leather window panes, stretching her arms tight against the casing. So organic. One time. One time slowly, from each touch came warm resistance and inhalation, yielding to her pressure gently ripping. The slight breathing made her eyes tear. She could see that out on the street, the painters had put away their scalpels and set themselves on fire. Brick is cold. Squirm, sleep, squirm. Scorpio massage film that premiered in brothels reinvented characters for a lush freshness. A strict mistress look, a flash silent magician that close-ups embarrass her. A secluded face on that black summer day came to whisper to her, so far away, again, again. The third sequel stalks the terrible widow of prophecy, knees on the seat for no relief. A bullet, true burlesque, the bullet shot where it's hurt, also a great example of the undertow, waiting for the sex shops and the peep shows, people Rama transplanted to the clouds. From her forehead down, her fingers traced eyes, a fever fetish dream with wild eyes panting because of what was in the car trunk. Looked slowly over her shoulder, the painter painted silhouettes of yesterday and was atomized by the jury. Looking over her shoulder, walks home slowly, slowly, slowly. Say something like a refraction of the sunlight as she stared upwards. Glazed shut by her own prismatic hand. A lying poem published won't know me. Spiral back that's falling between scents somehow and whirlpool moans and she's guilty of nothing. She vanishes in the fragments of the season. Tongue speaking. Watching multiple copies of Lana Turner, there's beauty in the hissing sounds. They wait on the water as a woman smiles. Past. Heavy air captured me when I was a person. The cracks in the face are spied. Stone is cold. Saints kiss them slowly and grin. Clay shut by her own hand for a jury as she lay fitfully on smooth tile floors. Figures collided so gently, taken into bliss films. A silhouette molten, beat throb. The wall twists with the smell of Frankenstein. Mm. This one is called Automatic Days of Prey. The doctor's discovery of the immoral three, indecent diaries written in People in USA. A fungus of time talks about the motives of starvation, a forgotten paradise overturned. It's a vigil overturned, a sigil of the inferno for Louis Saint Cyr, a paradise inferno for Blaise Star, a silent night, a sad lady for Yvonne Marquis, another day, another woman, another time to sleep. A fluorescent tube to a hole for Muzak International grab by the balls. Sensitized dead skin. A twitch. A twitch. Wrap it in the American flag and come as it burns. As she holds it against her chest to finally cry. Catch her soul. It's not today. We just left without warning. Time to sleep with a cold pit stomach and liver bleeding. First sounds reverb. Slices deep. A face contorted from now on by affairs. A sad bomb on the Halloween night. Just before Christmas. Driven into the concrete, she steps out of her skin, sinews stretched, accused the accusers, feasts on the remnants of shadows. She laughed because the still of her boots was saved from the barbecue. This evening I awoke. This church across the street had spit its spell from the tower. A self-exercise, a huge maw from the mutilation, will watch me as I dress for the beast, minus one-dimensional figures drawn on brick walls. Watch, unaccredited models linger, over their frustration, moist eyes, cold fingers. Saliva burns her lips as her eyes roll upwards. A prayer so quick, so silent. Watch, 
I whimper as I heal. Some humans prefer being simply spit on the floor, tied at the ankles for the purpose of sampling. This, this examination, words repeated, a constant, a constant blame, a mantra for the innocent taken home, fleeting soft images, sighs so pale, sights so fractured, touch me infrequently, grateful for a caress, fingernails gently scraping soft skin, fleeing the room until the brass bells ring, burning on her fingers, tight consolation to sleep at least, cut and scattered on the field, burning faces, clutch, charred limbs, tasting can greatly affect the outcome. <laughs> Thank you. This is called The Watcher and it has a little bit of an influence of Richard Speck. Today is the time to close dreams. Tonight the night is inevitable. The huntress of the shadows is lying in wait. She knows the watcher is born to raise hell, the words tattooed continuously in the moistness of the yellow night. He does what he must do behind the walls that scream. The house moans, the house throbs as the frozen heads with arsenic dreams keep him awake. Never sleeping, always walking. Steaming air strangle on the street, relishing his boiling veins. He crawls through the windows with the illusion of relief and the women scream. <laughs> Fallen angels come to take him away, laugh silently as they wipe the dirt from their hands. White noise in a tight dream, she holds his hands as she washes the day away. Stares at him cradled in her lap, sings to herself as she watches his face. Twisted, twisted smile. Homes collapse. Spiders perform a spastic dance and crawl inside her as she soothes his wrinkled brow. Blue movie, a gentle chill. Signs of poverty, crushed fingers no longer play, attracted by sexy, slimy laughter from behind the curtain. The stage is dirty, a semicircle in red, and her flesh trembles. Zoom in close to her throat quivering as droplets of sweat form and shimmer. It's an illness. The fingers, her own, play quietly under her skirt as she sits in the adrenaline pool, waiting for the film to start. She recognizes herself and her companion in the seat adjacent, not moving, knows she really isn't there. Not really. And they are both encased in glass, there's extra words from the language that they forgot a long time ago. Some random mouths link together, some random fingers caress. The medical muses taste the hysteria of a, humil a humiliated sequence of time. Things go awry as always, a special impression during her travels. Tonight the cruelty of the acute scholar will make itself apparent in a script authored by the doctor himself, describing the struggle of euthanasia for when life runs out, already endured, the search through with a lick of the tongue, stolen kisses in the greenhouse, numerous feelings, don't keep them, in the room upstairs, caught between the screeching machines, the whole night was filled with substance, she moaned as, it, as addiction dug in, fucking the emotional response to the jurgulated stimuli, consume it with the environmental cues associated with it, I kissed her lips, and wrapped her up now. Why shouldn't we be enjoying it together? Another form of drug therapy involves a mess, a mood-altering substance caught in the behavior of her mouth. A black spot turned into another year already. A razor caused the disorder. Clothes were stripped off as something was presented in the media of the latest century to be revealed. Bask in, the, in their humiliation and what she wanted, a supposed descent of the three women. The womb rising, knowing about others in humiliation. It's Sunday afternoon. The birds can be heard outside, creatures singing in a disquieting monotone. These creatures have no faces. These forms have blank stares. She touches our face, saliva burns. We try to leave, but are unable to do so. They fly so slowly just outside the bay window. Here to stay, dead heat bang. I'm going to read a few pieces from Vanished Faces. A peeperama is sort of like my fun time in Times Square. Vanished Faces is my crash and burn. <laughs> Room 18, golden ratio of a flying sex woman. She accepted the truth. She was a peeping Tom. Then she watched the window across the air shaft. She pulsated while eating her sexual desire between the probes of her mental state. She swirled the fluid in a delicate glob goblet, a mixture of sweat and isomers, with a touch of taut membranes. 
swished it around her mouth, bathed her bleeding gums, then gulped, burn, burn, gagged briefly, voluntary agent. The window grew larger, she backed away, she began to stroke, opened the noise and walked into an answer. She began to stroke, opened the image and walked into a reason. Instructions were absent from the text. She was trying to set up the head, sexual desire, between them, to probe downwards. She spied on me, and she spied on me, and she always will, and I'm glad. Poses were going to happen, door closed, penetration, sex bombing. She shook and began to speak of time. A plastic minute, think that's too long? A filthy mouth offered a humorous alternative, a half-life in this position. She said, the only transcript, coma one. I was in him deep, almost up to my forehead. That's what he wanted, all sweaty. He was sweaty and clammy. I think I did something wrong. Clock tweaked faster. I fell into a deep sleep. Roundabout rooms. One starts, then ends in another. Automobiles always crashing outside. I can hear them through the stained glass. Eyes of the saints are teary moist now. Gas oil smell, burnt steel, peeled plastic and paint as the shapely suntan matrons from Midwest America cradle assault rifles between their legs, massaging their cunts, tattooing themselves in red, white, and blue under their cross, fully exposing the taste of salt and skin. <laughs> Room 22, a one-dimensional theater of disgrace. Animals slippery and more able to mouth a fuck, right, she said. The music's favorites were being swung to and fro and an orgasm followed, collapsing the quiet into a collection of family pics. It grip, gripped much tighter around, lying on her back. She collapsed face down on the fanciful torso, her lips clamped around all these years. Slurp slow, sorry show, life cycle in seven minutes on the sofa. Dead light, stop fucking, lie back on the receiving end of you. She moaned, oh that's gorgeous, you see that? Toothless mother's mouths sing, then became pale, strap up a picture, shoot at it. Memory collapsed, polluted, a recording machine broken. Snap black tips penetrate into July sticky rain, reaching, reaching until finally becoming limp. She told herself those delightful virgin martyr stories. One more time, one more time, as she climaxed one more time. Getting helpless before the crowd, together in the mist, red and bruised, black air enveloped her. It finally helped to take her mind off where the flesh had escaped to. I mean you no harm, I mean you no harm, I mean you abrupt cessation. She cleared her throat but didn't continue. The character of her dress was insulting. She was a thief. She is abandoned and lives with other life forms in that enclosure. This is a thriller, they never forgive. Mother's screaming in the alley. Boogaloo crash, it's gone for now. She signaled for the head tormentor. She won't change blindness. It's over. You waited. They're counting money because we're defaced. I told you not to cry. Just wait. Just watch. This is a thriller. Thank you.